Hello everybody, this is John Evans and you're watching Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thank you for watching. First, let's say that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing. Uh, the outpouring of love for this channel has been uh, immense and uh, I appreciate it. So tell a friend, we're, we're nearing 500 subscribers and at that point we start, it's like the bonus round, we start giving away stuff. So uh Things from actual thrift stores hauls like you'll see uh, here today. So uh, I'm really excited about this haul. Uh, it's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's a thrift, st multiple thrift store haul. I went to several stores and uh, I'm really excited about it because something at the end is something I've never seen. I've never sold. I didn't even know existed. So uh, it's a really cool mid-century uh, uh, modern thing. So let's take a look at what I have found today. Uh, this first thing is actually a pair. This is not a, a one item. This is a pair of things. This is a pair of uh, this is art. That's what it is. And some of you will recognize this. If you're a fan of the show and you're a subscriber, you might... A couple weeks ago, I had some... Uh, they were called Isle of Lewis uh, chess pieces. And they looked exactly like this. Except they weren't painted gold. They were kind of a cream... Uh, color, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, worth about fifty bucks for five or six of them. And uh, these two, uh, these were two ninety nine each, which honestly a little high, a little more than I wanted to pay. But I wasn't going to leave them there because I know I can get about twenty bucks for them, eighteen to twenty bucks, no problem at all. And you got to start somewhere. I mean, you got to start uh, small and uh, work your way up. Uh, like this next thing I found. Not stunning, but uh, a real nice item. This is uh, this is a perfume tray, right, ladies? I don't have one, but this is a perfume tray. You would put this on your vanity or your uh, dresser or what have you, and uh, it's got some really great handles. That's actually truth be told. This is why I bought this because these stylized lucite handles. If these were regular handles. I would have walked right on past this, but because they're weird and unique and 60s, uh, very easy to sell. This was $3.99. I don't know if you see that from Community Thrift. $3.99. I'm going to sell this for $26. bucks. going to try it on eBay. And if worse comes to worse, I will put it in my booth at the Antique Mall. All right. Next thing I found was at a local thrift store by my house called Zicknacks. Thrift store. I always find good stuff there. Fair prices. This was what I found. That. That's a Viking ship in glass. Now, some of you are probably already thinking uh, that might be Viking glass. There was a company in the 60s and 70s. I'm not even sure if they still exist, but they made a lot of art glass and they used this color a lot. They made a lot of ashtrays and a lot of cool stuff. So this is clearly like a hand-blown. I thought it might even be an advertising piece for Viking, but that is not the Viking glass logo. So if you can identify this, if anyone knows who made it, I, I, I believe it could be Danish, Norwegian, I don't know. But I will say this, it's probably worth about 40 bucks. I paid $4.99 for this, and I'm gonna sell it for minimum 40, but I'm gonna put it on eBay and let the market decide, because I think this could be something. I don't know what, but uh, super cool piece. So, uh, the next thing I found, I actually found a few weeks back in Indiana, when I was traveling in rural Indiana. I found this, put it in my cupboard, and forgot to talk about it in the video. So now we're gonna rehash it, because it ties in with my last item. But this is what I'm talking about. I found this in Indiana. These awesome mid-century fish. Look at these wood and sheet metal fish. And there is a trio. <laughs> a trio of them. Look at these. Are you kidding me? These are unbelievable. Great mid-century look amazing color uh really nice condition now uh there's a company called masketeer and i can't say for certain that these are masketeer but masketeer made a lot of this type of stuff wood sheet metal 
Their uh, most popular thing was these ducks, like a trio of ducks, wood, sheet metal, and they go for about $100 a set. Now, I paid, I don't know if you can see this, $4, 4 bucks. I paid for each of these, so I've got $12 in this. I'm going to at least ask for $60 for the set of the fish, and if I can properly identify that they are Masketeer. I might even get a little bit more, but I'm going to conservatively say 60 bucks, 60, 70 bucks. So, and the reason I brought those out, even though uh, I already had the Indiana episode, is because they tie in with this last thing I found, which is truly, truly amazing. And this is what it is. Same thing, same principle, except what? Seahorses. Oh man, look at these guys. The, look at these majestic creatures, right? These seahorses are beautiful. They have the gem eyes. They're giant. There is three of them. Look at how, ama how amazing would this be on your wall? Three giant seahorses. Again, they don't say Masketeer. I don't know that they're Masketeer, but their construction looks like every Masketeer thing I've ever seen. So I'm kind of leaning towards that they might be. So I'm going to put these on eBay, the three seahorses, the trio, the trifecta, and they're in great shape. I should also mention that they were $5.99, $4.99, $4.99, and uh, so 16 bucks for the trio of seahorses. I'm going to ask $125. Uh, I might start the bidding at 100 and I think it wouldn't be any stretch that they would go up over 150 I saw a trio of seals um, that were that had, were balancing like balls on their noses for 125 bucks, and I think the seahorses were way, way, way nicer. So to the right person, I think it's 125 and on eBay... It might even be more than that. So let's look at what I've... Let's see what I have. I've spent $43 on everything, which is not nothing, right? $43. bucks. i am going to sell everything for $259. Bucks. That's, you know, $220 profit. And if the seahorses and the fish go north of $100, bucks, I could be looking at $300. Bucks. So uh, how do you do? How do you... How do you know? How do you know what to do? Well, you continue to watch my program, Mid Mod Money, on YouTube because uh, I'm going to share the secrets of what to buy, what not to buy, what to look for, what's trending uh, every week. Every Monday we do this rain or shine. So keep watching the show. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Good day.